I'm glad you stay tuned. As promised, I have the folks from Sterling House on the stage, and they're going to tell us all about the business after hours this month. Uh, with me, I have Mr. Joe Cassell. From, he is the Executive Director and Tammy Miles, Sales and Marketing Manager for Sterling House. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Good Thanks to have you all us. here. Good to be here. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what a business after hours is. Business After Hours is a good time for our networking uh, social without, with, throughout the chamber members. Um, we get together and a social time. We have some snacks and drinks, and you can come out and meet your other members that are in the chamber. My favorite of all chamber events, there's no real program. Bring lots of business cards. You'll meet a lot of folks that you'll want to trade cards with, right? Absolutely. It's yeah. a good time to get to know new, new members as well because a lot of times there's guests and new members who show up at those events. So you might not see them at other times and it's really good to come out. I actually joined the chamber at a business after hours. That's how I got started <laughs> right there in Blue Water Bay as a matter of fact. Speaking of which, when and where is our, blue, is our business after hours going to be? It's going to be on Thursday evening, October the 20th. It'll be from 5 to 6.30 at the Sterling House. We're located at 1551 Merchants Way. It's just kind of behind where the Winn-Dixie Shopping Plaza is. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Our parking is a little bit limited, so we have a little walkway between where Old Mexico, Helga's, and Subway is. So there's some overflow parking over there if you need to park there and then walk through the steps up to the parking lot. You can come on in. Sure. And who is invited to attend? Um, all business members in the area, all the chamber members, as well as, again, bring guests. That's one good way exactly. to get new members involved in wanting to become a member of the chamber is to see what great things it can do for you. So definitely bring guests and come and out. And likewise, if you're hearing this on the television and you want to show up, see what our chamber is all about, come on out to Business After Hours. You can be Tammy's desk or my guest or Joe's guest, I'm sure. Uh, show up and uh, we'll show you around a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit about what kind of services that um, Sterling House provides. We provide personalized assisted living. Uh, we have 42 apartments uh, in a very home-like setting environment. And Brookdale is known for our signature programs. At the Sterling House, we provide our Culinary Arts Institute, which is our chefs provide um, three cooked meals a day. They are all have been reviewed by a registered dietitian, and it's done to perfection. It's all plate served, so a wonderful dining program. And, and you're um, not you're not uh, just saying chefs. You're actually talking about chefs. Chefs prepare are preparing the meals. meals. Yes, yeah. Dave. Yes. Yeah. So wonderful. We do take care of our residents. We also have our Optimal Life program, where we look at the wellness and well-being of our residents, and we provide a program that has purpose and meaning to it. So each day, our residents are engaged in activities and events there at our community. So it's a wonderful way for them to still have a quality of life and enjoy um, everything they do. And we have our celebrations program, which is a monthly theme program. It's themed each, each month. And this year we're traveling the amazing places of the world. So it's a great chance for them to interact and learn different things about different cultures and different environments. Uh, but in a nutshell, it's a, it's a wonderful environment, very family-like, home-like environment for our residents. And uh, it's a chance for them just to enjoy a quality of life there in our community but uh, my how things have changed haven't they yes you know? it's yes. It, it really is uh, just yes. like home it is home actually. it is it's not just like home it is home it is their yeah. home and we as our as the associate staff there uh, we view it as we're guests in their home and uh, we just try to provide for them the best care and best quality of services in addition, we do provide 24-hour care for our residents, so we have nurses on staff there, mm -hmm. and we have our med aides that are there to assist, so there's always associates on staff there to provide um, any type of wellness or medical care that is needed for our residents. Yeah, Some, something that, that just can't be done in the home. It's, right. uh, it makes it a whole lot safer yes. in, the, in the long run, doesn't it? Yes. Um, share with me a little bit about some of the upcoming events you have going on. Um, well, one of the things we're really proud to be involved with is the National Alzheimer's Association. And the Panhandle has never had an Alzheimer's walk. It's a national, um, the biggest national thing to raise awareness and funds for Alzheimer's. And there's never been one in the Panhandle, so Brookdale Senior Living with the help of Crystal Bay, which is in Sandust and Wellington Place in Fort Walton, and ourselves here in Niceville have decided to get together and do that. We're going to be holding that walk on November the 5th out at the Baytown Marina. They have agreed to give us the space and the location and help us with, you know, policing the event. So we'll have two different walk courses that will be available. There's a one-mile course and a three-mile course. We're currently looking for corporate sponsorships and for teams and donations for that and anything that anybody can do to help prevent um, Alzheimer's is a good thing. Alzheimer's is now the sixth leading cause of death in America. 
So it's, it is growing, it's growing rapidly, and our awareness needs to grow for that. Huge, so. huge cause, and so I'm sure so many families have been touched in one way or another with Alzheimer's. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, fantastic idea, and what a great place to do it, too. That'll be a... That's right. For the first one in the Panhandle, we're excited. You know, we do have some corporate sponsorships already through some pharmacy groups and through Amir State, one who helps with our funding um, for veterans, mm -hmm. and we're just really excited about how that's going to go. One of the other things we're working with is um, MetLife and Covenant Hospice. In November, we're going to do a program about retirement planning and final wishes planning. Uh, sometimes people don't expect to get sick. They don't expect to be ill. And how can they plan for that a little bit better? And then for the families, same thing. What do you need to do in those final days when their parent is going through the end of life? You know, the hospice has put together a fantastic book, and we're going to have one of the marketing representatives come in and do a program free of charge to the community. My, my personal experience is they're angels. They're absolutely mm -hmm. angels. And, and you're right. There's so much uh, that we don't know. We, mm -hmm. we really just don't know until you get into that situation and you really need somebody to put their arm around your shoulder and help you, uh, guide you through that. And the hospice does a fantastic job of that, absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Joey already brought up Brookdale uh, Senior Living, but uh, tell me a little bit about your parent company. Well, our parent company is just a wonderful uh, resource and recently we just acquired Horizon Bay, which is another was another um, company very active in the senior living industry. Sure. So combined now, we're over 650 communities that uh, Brookdale Senior Living currently wow. is operating, managing um, in the United States. So we are the largest provider of senior living. And just here in the Panhandle, uh, from Pensacola all the way to Panama City, we have six communities right here in our area. Sterling Houses in both, obviously ours in Niceville and Blue Water Bay. We have one in Pensacola and one in Panama City. And in Fort Walton Beach, as we mentioned earlier, we have Wellington Place, Westwood. And in addition, we have in Destin, Crystal Bay. And huge, huge uh, corporate backing, but it's still a very hometown feel, right? By all means, Dave, yeah. yes, by all means. It's, it's, it's just wonderful that uh, we're still uh, in our community, we're still serving our families and our residents who have these different needs. Yeah. Some of them are independent living, some are assistant, and we have some in our memory care, which now, is our Clare Bridge. One of the biggest questions that people uh, have to answer when they get into this situation is, how in the world am I going to pay for all this? But there's a lot of programs out there, aren't there? There's a lot of resources, yes. There are, and Brookdale Senior Living is very understandable about the economic situation that we have and there's some VA programs out there where if you were a military member who served for a minimum of 90 days and one day was wartime um, there are benefits and a lot of people don't realize that that's one of the most widely used programs that we have right now a uh, surviving spouse can have a thousand dollars per month a couple could get up to almost two thousand dollars per month that's a pension program through the Department of Veterans Affairs you basically won't know unless you ask, will you? That's right. We have a, a variety of third-party providers out there that we can help guide you and give you information about and that will help you to make financial flexibility a little more um, easier for you to come in should you need those health care services. Sure. If folks wanted to find you at Sterling House, how would they do that? Uh, they can always call us. Our number is 850-729-3323. Or they can just stop by at any time. Come in at 1551 Merchants Way and ask to look around, meet the staff, the family members, and uh, you'll have a great time visit. Well, Tammy and Joe, we really do appreciate all you're doing for our community. Thank you very much for the business after hours. Look forward to seeing you there. Look Thank forward you. to seeing you. Thank you. I got a couple quick announcements I need to cover. The next second Wednesday breakfast is going to be held October 12th, 7:30, at the First Baptist Church of Niceville on 622 Bayshore Drive. Of course, sponsored by the First Baptist Church of Niceville. RSVP now to join us at the Trade Winds Restaurant for Let's Do Lunch Tuesday, October 18th at 11:30 a.m. And remember, it's always a great time to join the chamber. Give the chamber a call 678-2323. Look forward to talking to you and seeing you at one of our events. God bless you all and stay tuned. We'll uh, see you next month.